Sure, the Olympics create excitement and interest, but that is not the case here. Yeah, the events are here, but this game just did not hold our attention. The replay value is low, and that really kills the fun. It was a nice try, but for some reason, we get the feeling that anyone who plays this game will either say to themselves, why did I buy this game, or I'm glad I just rented it. This game is not a total waste of time, however. You can have some fun at some of the events if you can figure out how to push the buttons at the right time. The events to compete in include a fast bobsled run, a death-defying mid-air ski jump, a lightning slick luge run, and curling. That's the game that's sort of like shuffleboard, but uses three people to play. One to push the disc, and two to brush a path. For those of you who are old enough to remember the arcade classic track and field, this game uses the same type of button pressing action. So depending on how good you are at repetitive button pressing, you will get frustrated or you will do well at the various events. Just be happy you didn't have to travel 8,000 plus miles to compete. Overall, this game did not qualify for the medal rounds. By the way, CBS tried to pass off footage of this game as a computerized instant replay of the real life athletes. You may be able to fool the average viewer, CBS, but not petty watchdogs like us with nothing better to do than to watch that boring Olympic coverage.